Tony Jet 625 Donna. So today we shall be doing a video that nobody asked for, but I'm still gonna make it. So as you can see, I'm playing with some green stuff, but today's topic is how I've got the software operation on this home machine sorted out. So obviously Few of you have asked me a question: How do I, uh, how do you can get a separate license for the machine? Because you guys want to practice, uh, want to practice on your laptops or something. So essentially, the very first thing that we did, because obviously our factory is in here and the office is two blocks uh, further up the road, so we have come up with this. This is called. This is called AnyDesk. And essentially, uh, what it does is the guy in the office is connecting to that program, then he gets, uh, gets connection, and then he can see all the screen, and he can work on this machine using his laptop. So that's number one, and that's very useful because when we are doing something in, and then again, we use two softwares. We'll use LibreCAD, which is free, which you can use, you know, completely not knowing anything and still kind of a work. Or AutoCAD, which is obviously full price, which, you know, if you want to pay, then you pay. If you don't want to pay, you find another way. Uh, so to make sure that we are drawing the correct things on those two bits and we using the AnyDesk software, then on the AnyDesk, you can pretty much run your tests for for the pieces that you cut. So for example, uh, he can do all this on his, uh, on his laptop. And then when he loads that using that AnyDesk software, then the machine will check if all of the polylines are closed. So he doesn't come to come here and then do all the bits uh, in here. And then if something is wrong, have to go back on his laptop. He can check it through that and that's way easier and time saving. So, so this is those two options that we use. And also, to gather all the jobs, we are using Google, Google Drive. So, uh, and that is something that we've got there. So obviously it's all on Google Drive and we've got it divided in sections like, uh, Stone of Destiny, that's, that's the place where we work. Obviously, waiting templates, so the bits that, that are not uh, done. Current jobs, this is where, this is the jobs that we're working on. And then also done jobs, that's got a list of stuff that is done. But essentially, we can always come back to them if we want to check how we've done other bits. Or even for the fact if something needs recutting, then obviously all this can be redone from those measurements. Uh, so this is, uh, this is Google Drive. Uh, also, what is quite useful is I have found a folder called Photo, which is a folder of the parametrics, and that saves all the pictures, uh, which has been done by the camera. Yeah? So you can either have, as you can see, the pictures of the slabs, so then you can send to the customer even the picture of the slab, how it looks, la, la, la. Or even, uh, maybe I will have, uh, maybe I will have, um, there are sometimes I just take a picture of a specific, specific element to show the customer how it will look. So essentially uh, what I'm talking about is if you see that shape, if you click there, then you click on the da uh, da on that, and that essentially is showing you how that piece will look after finish. So you can save that by clicking there. Yeah, and this is this is the destination when it's saving. And because I've got it on my Google Drive as well, so guys in the office have access to it. So then they can even send it to customers saying, "Oh, this is how your piece will look." If you're okay with that, you know, because we offer even that service that you can tell them that how it's gonna look. If they are 
on a quick response, they can say, no, move it up, down, left, right, or don't cut it at all. We can always do that. So this is quite useful as a combination of Diftwin software with association with uh, parametrics. And I believe this is so far the best layout there is. If there is anything that you guys would suggest to have, obviously I'm aware of the Easy Stone, the DXs and all the other programs, but we're not using them as yet because A, we are at the beginning of our little uh, machine journey. So we don't really using it as yet, uh, but so far this is what we use. So if there is any suggestions that you guys can give me, then I will be very much, I will appreciate that very much. And hopefully, you know, we can grow even a better selection of programs that can cooperate and work nicely together. Hopefully that's all. That all has been quite informative. If you've got any questions as usual, down in the comment section, please. And obviously, like and subscribe. Our little Power Ranger is waving goodbye. Bye-bye.